I'm here on Colton Boulevard between 16th Street and 15th Street, just a few blocks away from where Friday night's shooting led to the death of Chandler Stalkup. Now here on Tuesday night, multiple rounds were fired off into the area. And while nobody was harmed, many are scared. <laughs> 11 seconds, that's how long the shots rang out. I don't even feel safe in my house anymore. A neighborhood that felt and sounded more like a battlefield Tuesday night, leaving residents rattled. I don't know what to say. It just, it's very nerve-wracking. It doesn't even matter where you live anymore. It happens everywhere. While a motive behind the drive-by shooting remains unclear, residents believe it's related to recent gang activity, but BPD says it's not. A few of those bullets ended up here, inside the bedroom of a two-year-old, narrowly missing the toddler's crib. That homeowner showed us the aftermath, but declined an interview fearing for his family's safety. But his neighbors share his concern. Oh, I was scared to death. Like. That doesn't really happen in this neighborhood, and you hear about things happening like that, but you never think it would happen to you. When they're shooting into a house close to where I live, it's very scary. You know, I am retired, and my wife's retired, and we've loved the area because it's so quiet and there's never been any violence. Residents believe a house down the street was the target of the shooting, a home where a large party was taking place. Once the gunfire finally ceased, they say those four return shots were fired towards the vehicle, hitting the home instead. Oh, I was terrified. I didn't know. I was ducking in my high heels, running in the house. Somebody could have been killed. It just happened a couple days ago close to us. So to have it happen again now, it's very scary. A shocking reality, leaving many on edge with one shooting after another in Billings in recent days. I just, I don't know what to do anymore. I don't think anybody's safe. In Billings, Charlie Kleps for MTN News.